Jesus successfully resisted the devil's temptations, which God meant as a refinement for him, while Satan meant it as evil. That's always the nature of such situations. I can think of Hebrews 5, 8, where it says that Jesus learned obedience through what he suffered. It's a, it's a remarkable verse that even though he was the perfect obedient son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. I also think of Deuteronomy 8, 16, a very precious verse. It says, he gave you manna to eat in the wilderness, something your ancestors had never known, to humble and test you so that in the end it might go well with you. Or I like how the ESV translates that, to do good to you in the end. I also think of Genesis 50, verse 20. You remember the story of Joseph, where Joseph's brothers meant evil toward Joseph, but Joseph says, you meant it for evil, God meant it for good. In other words, Jesus' testing or his temptations in the wilderness were the final step of his own preparation for his mission in the world as the perfect Son of God.